Number 16. I know this is going to be a special case because of this negative number. So we are not going to have a reg regular answer. Let's look at this. The absolute value is a distance from 0. So distance is, is always going to be positive. So we have positive equals to a negative, which is never true. No solution. Number 17, we know this is going to be a regular case, so we need to write two equations because we have a positive 12. Negative 6 minus 3x is equal to positive 12. And negative 6 minus 3x is equal to negative 12. So let's begin by solving. So we want the variable to stay so this negative 6 needs to be moved to the other side becomes a positive 6. 12 plus 6 is 18. Bring down the negative 3x and then we divide by negative 3. So we have x equal to negative 6. Here we bring the negative 6 over to the other side becomes a positive 6. Negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. Bring down the negative 3x. Divide both sides by negative 3. We have x is equal to positive 2. So now we can... Oh, we don't need to do a number line because this is an equation. For number 18, we know we have to write two equations because we have a positive 9. So x minus 2 equal to positive 9 and x minus 2 equal to negative 9. To solve, we need to bring over the negative 2 to the other side becomes a positive 2. So 9 plus 2 is 11. Here we bring the negative 2 to the other side. Negative 9 plus 2 is going to be negative 7. Now we need to draw a number line because this is an inequality. So negative 7 is smaller, so that goes on the left side. 11 is bigger, so that goes on the right side. And this is less than, so we know... Uh, okay, so looking at this inequality, because we have a line, we know the circles need to be filled in. Because we have this equal to part underneath the inequality. And less than means we want to go inside. So, closed circle means that we need to have a bracket. And our answer is going to be bracket, negative 7, 11, with a bracket. Number 19, we know we need to write two equations because of this positive 7. So the first equation will be negative 2x plus 3 equal to 7. The second one will be negative 2x plus 3 equal to negative 7. So to solve this, we need to move the 3 so that becomes a negative 3 on this side. 7 minus 3 is 4. Copy down the negative 2x. And then we divide both sides by negative 2. Okay, x equals to 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. For the second equation, we bring the negative the 3 to the other side that becomes a negative 3. Negative 2x equals to negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. And we decide we divide both sides by negative 2. So we have x is equal to positive 5. Now putting this into the number line, we have negative 2. And positive 5. This inequality is greater than. We don't have a line underneath, so don't have the equal to part. So it's going to be open circle. I'm going to fill that in. And greater than means that we are going to go to the outside. So this arrow to the left, that's going toward negative infinity. So we have negative infinity over here. And this arrow to the right, we have positive infinity. Now using our brackets, 
uh, like uh, parentheses or brackets. So negative infinity is always going to be parentheses because you can't reach it. Open circle parentheses, open circle parentheses, and infinity parentheses. So our answer is going to be negative infinity all the way to negative 2 parentheses of 5 to positive infinity and we put a u in the middle for union. So the reason why we have two sections is because when you have a greater than you go outside you have this section here on the left negative infinity to negative 2 and a section on the right positive 5 to positive infinity. For number 20 we don't need to write two equations because we have a negative number on the other side. So this is going to be a special case. So let's determine if this should be a no solution or infinitely many solutions or like all real numbers. So over here absolute value is going to be a positive. Absolute value always gives you a positive number. It's greater than a negative number. Is that true? Always true or never true? Well, any positive number is, is going to be bigger than a negative one or any negative number. So this is always true. So all real numbers.